Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2. Uh, last time we uh, just beat off a, a pretty tough train mission and um, we got alerted by a supply raid, I think it was. Uh, but before I go on that, I just wanted to uh, excavate a new area. I've taken our uh, engineer out of the Advanced Warfare Center because we don't actually really need him there at the moment. We have uh, Tops McCorner there um, getting healed up, but as he's only got a couple of days left, it's th th there's no much, not much benefit there. Whereas if I can clear more of this alien debris, I can actually... Oh, I should have cleared the alien machinery. I didn't even see that there was different stuff. Oh, that was stupid. Okay, never mind. Well, we're going to clear this off anyway so we can get more resources and have more space to build things. Right, now for the mission. I'm also going to build a mine shield for uh, one of our shaken soldiers. Just so I think it's probably going to be Starforge, just, just so he can, we, I can like not worry about him. If they try any sort of shenanigans, he'll be completely immune. I'll be fine. Um, I don't want to. I actually make him completely immune to any negative mental conditions completely. Oh, I thought it was just um, protecting them from the sectoids, but that's actually really useful. I'm going to get one of those. Uh, and I'm going to give it to him. Okay, Operation Knife Slayer. Raid the Advent Convoy. Advent is moving valuable alien technology across the eastern US. If we strike quickly, we can recover the alien tech for our own purposes. And here we go. Now this is the moderate difficulty mission. So I need to make sure I'm taking with me some of my best crew. I only need one sniper, and now that he's back in action, I want Starforge to get unshaken. So even though Kato, Fumiko, is so fucking good, I'm going to swap her and Goldie out for the for Starforge. Okay, so Starforge is once again reunited with Vera, and he's getting a mine shield. Excellent. Right, we definitely want Elisa with us. She's our best medic, I think. Uh, do I have a second specialist? No, the only other specialist I have is Tobs McCorner, and he is wounded. We have rangers. Hmm. Well, we're definitely going to keep Inisan. There's no way we're going to give him up. He's one of our best, and... It's going to be invaluable, especially with his grenade launcher. The third place, I guess, should go to a ranger. No, okay. Even though this is a moderate difficult mission, I'm going to try out a new guy because I've got my three best characters, best subscribers, best... Well, at least it's not a subscriber. But the three best characters on the team. So I think we can risk one newbie. And then we have cannon fodder. So, Buthalesi, you're in. The next building I'm going to build is definitely going to be the GTS facility so I can increase the squad size because that is really, really vital to get. It means you can train up more rookies and get a, a stronger team overall. I'm actually not sure about taking uh, Buthalesi out. I'm sure we'll be fine. Let's do this, guys. in the resistance tipped us to an advent transport they managed to disable when it passed through as part of a larger convoy. Advent security forces are already moving to gather their assets, but we've got a shot at finding something valuable here. We'll have to secure the area, recover the gear, and eliminate any enemy resistance. The thing I'm most worried about here is going to be that the timer. How long before the advent security get there or some such. Advent convoy is just ahead. Engage and eliminate all hostile forces. Okay. Let's change the orientation. I like it a bit more when my guys are on the right like that. Um, okay. First things first. Starforger in some good cover makes sense. 
I'm going to move him up quite far because I want him to be able to see further. Although he has got long, he has got the um, the long watch and squad sight. He can't fire in his first turn anyway, so I'm going to move him to hopefully what I think is a relatively safe position of here. Location confirmed. Okay, he's seen nobody. That's good news. Tafari, cannon fodder, Buthalesi. Let's move you up as well. Um, can we get the other two into cover first? Okay, of course, we're concealed. I keep on forgetting that concealment's a thing. Right, we can move up a little lot more aggressively now that I re remember that, remembered that. Good copy. Moving on target. Without the introduction of human DNA, oh, hello. these creatures once operating under the guise of Fen Men now show their true form. A purely reptilian species. No reason for them to hide. The aliens don't need an infiltration unit anymore. Well, oh, that's disconcerting. They got a lot more health than Thin Men had, too. Okay. Well, if they're there, then any. I want you to go here. Paso ligero. Ah, oh, one of those stun lances as well. Well, if there was ever a better time to attack a group of people, I don't know of it. Okay, so the plan is going to be to move Innie here, put most of them on Overwatch, and then Starforge is hopefully able to take one of them out in one shot. And Starforge is going to take down... I'm pretty sure he can actually eliminate the stun lance from one shot. Uh, with a crit, so I'm gonna go for the stun lancer first, mostly because I really hate them. And Starforger has a little bit of a vendetta. Come on, mate, take him down. Ah, it's not a kill, damn it. Ah, that's gonna waste an overwatch fire. Annihilate them, guys. Yes, he's out. Four damage, come on, Innie. Oh, perfect. That was good. Oh, that's not good. I need to get any away from that thing. Unless the car's not going to blow up. Doesn't look like it's going to blow up. Okay. That was really good, though. Sure, we've... um. We've kind of lost the advantage of surprise now, but we took out an entire squad with no problem. It's, if we're moving forward, we need Star Forger, I think, a bit of a better position. Um, actually, he can see the majority of stuff, and I do want my sniper as far back as possible, so let's just put, put him on long watch. We need to be moving forward. We've got no time limit on this, so I should be going forward pretty much as slowly as possible, just to make the most use of my overwatches. Um, have at least we should get into a better, some better cover. Let's put her here. All right, I'll go. I need to get out of the mentality of uh, putting people uh, of, of, of time missions where you ha you're made to rush and, and go as hard as you can. This is a moderate, and it will be more difficult. Okay, any uh, is there a good? There's not really any good positions on this left flank to go down. Uh, if I want to stay close to my... I want to stay relatively close to each other, just so we can cover each other. That's quite a nice place there, but that's also running. So if there are enemies uh, over here, I won't, won't be able to do anything about it, and he'll be stuck there. I'm going to move the cannon fodder guy to the, the medium cover, and I'm going to move up, advance slowly. Obviously, don't want to get too close, because then a grey will hit more than one of us, but I do want to be close. I really want this uh, bit of kit, so let's get our cannon fodder boy over there to pick it up. I should also be a bit worried about um, Got some goods here. the teams patrolling. I forget that they, they actually move quite a distance. So let's move... I just need to be careful. I'm so worried about losing any of my team. Apart from the cannon fodder, don't care about him. However, if the aliens have a choice, I'm sure they're not going to go for the, the weak newbie. Okay. Let's see what happens. Oh, hello. 
So they are directly over there. Oh, and they've, we've seen them. I'll light them up. Oh, Aliza, don't miss. Oh, Innie. Usually you're really accurate. I like how slow and balls he is, considering he just got fired upon. He's like, yeah, we got this. Okay, they've moved into cover, and I need to get away from them, because they've got two stun lances there. This guy and this guy. Seems that regular troopers just have stun lances now? I don't see how that's fair. But four? Sure, fine, fine. Uh, all the stuff will just attempt to hit 57%. I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to do a little research. Okay, I just did some, a little bit of research, and if they're dashing, then uh, they get like a, a, your hit chance goes down by 40%. Um, so I think actually attempting to hit somebody in low cover is better uh, than when they're running around. So I'm going to fire the Star Forger now, because those lances are going to be dashing me to a... Uh, yeah, good work, Freddy boy. Those uh, guys are definitely going to be running at me to get in close range with their fucking electric sticks. Um, as for everybody else, I just want you to pull back. And uh, I assume you can't hit very well. Ah, uh, 51%. Yeah, go on. Go on, Amy. Ah, oh, yes. The I know and love. Okay. Uh, cannon fodder, chap. But Aliza, how far back can you come? Because they can dash. Like 16, I think, is the standard movement for a human. Uh, sorry, 8 is the standard movement, and if they're dashing, that's 16. Uh, so I don't think they can make it back this far. And that should be far enough away from the officer. I'm not sure, though. Moving to Overwatch. Okay, I've, grou I've grouped my guys up there, so if the officer does get in range, he can do a, f a grenade. But hopefully he won't get in range. Okay, overwatch it is. Come on. Take him down. Uh, yeah, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't expect to do a hit, to be honest. Aliza, a little bit more expectation. But still, no, come on. Don't get close, don't get close, don't get close. Oh, he survived! That's not bad, I don't mind. No! Oh, don't panic and run away. Oh, well that's actually not bad though. That's fine. You can do that, that's really good. Okay, in he gets his free reload. And... Do we have a flank on this guy? We do not. Uh, what's the Star Forge's chance to hit? 21%? Wow, that's really bad. Oh, this is close range. Um, how about the pistol? 62%, but it's 2 to 3 damage. He is on 3 health. That's worth noting. It's worth noting. Aliza. 70%. That's a pretty well heroic uh, action point, actually. I assume it's because he's close, because he's behind high cover. He's, oh, the scope as well. Um... What's in his attempt to hit? 50%, okay. Really though, we could do with just getting into a better position to flank him. I can't remember if Elise has got the ability to heal as a, not as a primary action, so it won't uh, end her turn. There's a lot of information that could be could be given to you that isn't on in this game. Like I want to see, like I want to press I, and it pop up with a list of all my guys' skills. That would be really helpful, so I know what they've got and stuff. I can't, <clears throat> I don't play it every day. I only play it once a week, so I forget what people have got. Um, we're gonna have to assume for now that I do not. Oh, I forgot about the aid protocol. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to assume for now that the heal does finish your turn. So I'm not gonna do that yet. What I really want is... I know there's an officer there as well, he's going to move up soon. Really, I want Innie to go here. I want everybody else to be able to take this guy out. 
which is essentially Elisa. Okay, Elisa, we're just going to trust. Oh, right, we can reload. I'll reload, and then I'm going to fire with you. Let's rock. Come on, take him out. Oh, brilliant. We haven't lost anybody yet. Okay, and any, I'm going to move you up. So you can get an eye on this. Ah, oh, the officer's flanked. Fantastic. Is he flanked for Starforger? Yes. Okay, one, two combo. Come on, guys. Oh, who needs a one, two combo when you get a headshot? Boom. Oh, that was good. Whew. Okay, and any, you just go into a watch. Oh, we were, we were lucky there that we didn't lose um, uh, Behelezi or whatever it's called. With the Lezzy. Yeah, we were lucky. But that's how I used to play it. I used to be retreating, especially from those Lancer guys. Because if that had been somebody else and he'd knocked or he'd knocked them unconscious, I would have been in a lot of pain. I want to see if I can get Staff Order up here, I think. So we can go up the, the trellis there. And he gets a better vantage point from on the whole battlefield. Maybe be able, maybe be able to see over some of these trucks for later on. Now let's check out the Gremlin heel. Is it a full wasted turn? Give him a heel. No, it isn't. Good. Well, I had forgotten, but there you go. And a reload. Back in. Okay, Starforger up to here. Got it. Thankfully, no one from the side. I didn't expect there to be considering the convoys in this direction, though. Uh, okay, and we're just going to move forward slightly. Okay, we're doing well. Oh, here we go. So they're over in this direction. Whoa, the fuck is that? Holy crap. Okay, so a truck just exploded. I don't know if that counts as us destroying critical supplies. I doubt it. I assume we have to get inside these things. I don't think they'd have rigged something to blow that quickly. Oh, maybe they would have. Okay, let's get the Star Forge on Overwatch and let's start moving our guys in. Is it clear? Come on, Lisa, you're never this complaining. Scanning. Um, where can we move to? Okay, I'm going to move in here. It's a bit risky, though. Okay, there's no one there. I can hear skittering, but there's no one I can see. Ooh, I think those are the supplies. Okay, good. There's no one in this building that I know of. That's good. Can I get on top of the building? Yes, yes, I can. But I don't want to on no movement. So I'm going to move him here. I want him to be able to overwatch if he gets up there. Or shoot. Oh, there we go. Oh, they, I was going to say, have they, noticed, have they not noticed this? Okay, this is ultra long range. Come on, mate, you can do it. Or not. No, you can't. So now it's a bit unfortunate because Innie is out of position. Adjusting sights. Okay, um, but they're not in range of him. They are in range of Innie. Oh, God, he is out of position, isn't he? I shouldn't have moved him forward on that second one. I can't move her anywhere now. I'm going to move him here and... Put him on Overwatch. Yeah. Scanning. Shit. Gone. Can't bother bloke. Take him out. Oh, you hit him for five. That's not bad. And Elise is going to finish the job. Because he's. Oh, that's those are those are leaves. Elisa, that's not attack leaves. Not even close. And as we animate, I assume. There's enough bodies around. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I can take care of a zombie pretty easily. Don't kill him. Don't hit him. Don't even touch him. You touched him, you bastard. Stay there. Both of you stay there so I can frag grenade you. Ah, you moved. He's going to go for any as well. 